everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the podcast where we watch every episode and iteration of Dragon Ball. Then we come on to the podcast to talk about it. We do a little bit of improv. There's some reoccurring bits, some some, uh, some skits and stuff. It's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. It's going to be Dragon Ball focused and you're going to love it. I thought you were going to rhyme and say, it's going to be runny. Oh, I should have rhymed. Uh, like a good set of over easy eggs. Mm. Oh. Let us drip on the toast that is your... Nope. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Aaron, we're giving away that we we can't help but record this podcast around lunchtime. <laughs> and I had a hearty breakfast, too. Oh, I did as well. I I did not uh, I did not have an uh, an anime breakfast. I had a very uh, typical English breakfast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Crumpets with butter and jam. Mmm, delightful. Mm-hmm. Let's not. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. I devolved us into food the, talk. Well, into the oh, how'd your week go? <laughs> podcast genre. And that's not what this podcast is. We've got Dragon Ball to talk about, uh-huh. and we are going to do that. But before we get to the episode proper, we have to do what we like to call Kame housekeeping. We're having a Kame house party. We got to clean up before we get that party going. Nobody wants to step into your mess. So here we go. The first piece of Kame housekeeping, as always, is the one minute roundup. I'm falling off a cliff. Jasper, no. Oh, you grabbed my leg oh, just in time. Thank God. Whew. Oh, boy. Jasper. Uh, there goes my favorite hat. It's all right. We'll get you a new one. It's just down in the ravine. But my Grammy got it for me. Oh, she was when a When I su- was but a lad. She was a sweet, sweet lady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had her oatmeal cookies. Oh, I, ha- I had her oatmeal cookies for sure. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no! I laughed at my pervertedness. <laughs> well, and see. And see. So that's a little uh, uh, Western themed improv uh, bit that we do right up top to <laughs> limber up the improv muscles. And when one of us laughs, or as the industry term would say, breaks, uh, <laughs> that's the end of that scene. Then we get into the one minute roundup. Itself, which is where one of us, this time it's Aaron, has one minute that is 60 seconds to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball to this point. That is over 120 episodes in which Aaron must summarize. Aaron, this task, I I give it to you with a heavy heart, for it is not easy what you must do. Are you ready? Uh, clear eyes, uh, <laughs> by Z. <laughs> can't lose, right? Wait, what's the... Th- no, you had it right. Okay, good, great. Clear I- eyes. <laughs> yeah, Friday Night Lights is just an ad for... Wait, is Clear Eyes the name of the product or is it by Z? It's by Z. Or, no, okay, it's yeah, Clear yeah. Eyes. No, it's Clear, yeah. It's Clear Eyes by by Z. The name was called Clear Eyes. Goddamn Big Pharma. <laughs> Get out of this know. podcast. It does what it says on the tin. Mm-hmm. All right, Reduces enough redness. stalling on my... <laughs> Enough stalling on me and Ben Stein's part. <laughs> I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win that money. <laughs> In three, two, one. Dragon Ball is about seven magic balls. If you collect them all, you get any wish you want. And it stars Goku, a little monkey boy, and he goes on a bunch of adventures. One of them was when he teamed up with a ragtag group to stop a little goblin from taking over the world, which he did. Then he trained with an old man and his best friend for the Tenkaichi tournament, which he got second place in. Then he went off to find a certain Dragon Ball because it belonged to his grandfather. And in doing so, he beat up an entire army, the Red Ribbon Army. And then after that, he beat up a bunch of monsters so he could then fight his grandpa. And then he brought his friend's dad back to life. And then he (laughs) went off and trained for three years for the second Tenkaichi tournament, which he also got second place in because Tien beat him up, barely. Then he fought King Piccolo and his demon army because he he killed all of his friends. Then Goku killed King Piccolo. Then he's like, did a bunch of stuff to try and get the Dragon Balls back so they can wish his friends back to life. And in doing so, he met Mr. Popo and Kami, and now he's going to train with them? Hey! Ooh! Aaron, how are you feeling after that? Oh, uh, I feel like it's been our time, real time. It's mm-hmm. been about a month since I've had to do that. 
I, yeah, so, real that, rest, real rusty. Hey, but you got you got a lot of important information. And if you are, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome to the party, people. And mm-hmm. also, uh, that one minute roundup, we put that in there uh, because we we wanted to make sure that when you when you get here. You don't have to do too much catch up. You don't have to go back and watch every episode of Dragon Ball. You don't have to go back and listen to every episode of the podcast, though we do encourage it because I don't know about you, uh, but I I know everything that's happened. And uh, Aaron Aaron he did a fantastic job, but he Thank did you. miss a couple of things. And if you want to know about those earlier adventures of like what Goku and Balma were doing, or who that little goblin guy is. Whose dad was saved? You go back and listen to our old episodes because boy, oh boy, are they good um, and they're fun. They certainly exist, <laughs> and they certainly exist for your listening pleasure. Um, and now we have our final piece of Kame housekeeping before we close the shades, turn down the lights, put up the disco ball, and start this Kame house party. And that is, I have to tell you. The listener that Aaron and I watched two different versions of the show. I watched the English dubbed version while Aaron watches the subtitled version. Uh, English subtitled version, I should say. Uh, we do that because of a old mistake that we turned into reality. Um, and also because very hilarious things are uh not translated or translated or context is changed for the Western audience. Music is left out. Music is left in. And uh, it, it makes for a lot of fun conversation when we get down to it. But the first piece uh, or the first thing that is different is usually the title. Now, we ha- we've we had a Yahtzee before. Mm-hmm. We've had a Yahtzee before. I don't know if we're going to get a Yahtzee today, Aaron. Uh, but I think if it's OK, I'd like to start with my title. All right. <clears throat> age before beauty of course uh, wait no beauty for age no no you it, you, had it, you had it right <laughs> you foxy little minx you can't see it but aaron is in a lovely um negligee <laughs> it's just so warm <laughs> in this estate that i'm lounging around in uh, aaron does all of his podcasting from a chaise lounge from, from a chateau <laughs> <laughs> from a chateau on a chaise lounge in front of a hedge maze. And I can't fad myself. He needs people it up to on do the mic. it for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the other reason. That's, <laughs> that is the other reason. Uh, but here, the episode that we're talking about today is episode 126 of Dragon Ball. Eternal Dragon Resurrected. Ooh, let's play the synonym game. <laughs> Ooh, let's play the synonym game. Let's so, play the synonym game. Yeah, every word was replaced. <laughs> so, <laughs> so ep- but they mean the same thing. Episode 126 of Dragon Ball. The English subtitle titled is Shenlong Revived. All right, fair. The ki- It's not a Yahtzee, though. It is not, unfortunately. It's, uh, what, a full house? What are some other scores? Yeah, yeah I, I'd probably say it's a uh, it's a royal flush. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So all the, the most impossible hand in poker. Mm-hmm. But now that we have that out of the way, Aaron, we can get into the episode proper. Oh boy, oh boy! Did you think that somehow we were in another anime when this first scene popped up? Mm, remind me, unless it's different on your end. We just see a dude on like a fishing boat. Yes. He's, it's just a mustachio Jojo looking son of a gun. Well, yeah, I was a little confused. I was like, wait, is there a new genre of anime that I that I need to be aware of? Like, I would ha- like, would you not watch a Deadliest Catch anime? Oh, man. It's just a big internal monologue of how they have to do it for their family at home. Yep. Yep. Oh, and this- all of like the really cool cuts of them like. He's not gonna. He's not gonna hook the. Uh, he's not gonna hook the buoy. He'll hook the buoy, and then he throws it and he hooks the buoy. The speed lines. Oh yeah. It would also be, and I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with this genre where it's sort of educational as well. Oh yeah. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so you, you know, you'd have these fun action scenes of fishing, but you'd also learn a bit about sea life and life on the sea. Mm-hmm. Little stats would pop up next to this king crab. Yeah, like 
larger than the human head. Yeah. Retails also- for eighty dollars a crab. One of them maybe one of them is missing a claw, and so it becomes the ship's pet mascot. <laughs> And turns them into magical fishing girls. That's right. And that's when the real anime begins. <laughs> yeah. And that's fi- And then we get to see. Then finally, episode two. Then episode two. Oh, man. Let's get to work on this right away. All right. Funimation, go away. We know you're listening. This is our idea. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. TM, TM, TM. TM, TN, TN, TN. But yes. Yeah, that's. We're, why are we here, though? Oh, Aaron, can I just say. That in mine, uh, there's the there's the man that we see on the boat at first. He, mm-hmm. s- in my version, he's speaking to someone who's in the bathroom named Ahab. Oh boy, continue. He's like, he's like Ahab, you gotta get out of that bathroom anytime soon. I was like, oh, hand in head. I was just pee over the side. Yeah, I was like, you're on a boat and you're going fast and. You got an article theme, Pashmina Afghan. <laughs> I, I had to. It's a it's a curse of my it. generation. <laughs> um, but why we're why we're at at sea for no reason? It it ends up being because uh, Piccolo Junior's Jesus. He's saying, "Come follow me <laughs> to death." I did not understand this. Like, okay, we get it. Piccolo Junior. He is. Out for revenge on Goku. He's also learning how to use his powers, going through power puberty or whatever. He just got to the beach and said, I'll keep walking. Like, I didn't get that. Wait, hold on. What is? Because in my version, he doesn't say. Oh, no, he, he doesn't say anything. Sorry, okay. my uh, my <laughs> my Piccolo Jr. voice was too good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I smugly over. wiping my eyebrows right now. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know he couldn't walk on water. Mm. So it's the Wiley e. Coyote effect. Ah, yes. He yes, doesn't yes. realize that he's supposed to sink. Mm-hmm. But he does realize that he's supposed to eat fish. He's so good at fishing. He's so good at fishing. Could you imagine if you went fishing and all you had to do is like point your finger, a fish would fly up, you catch it, you electrify that one. it. <laughs> that one, sir. <laughs> Mm. Oh, fishing wouldn't be as fun. I wonder how that fish tasted. It looked like a pretty good looking tuna. Yeah, Man. right. Oh, it's just some fresh sashimi. Come on. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sushi Your for dinner. Soy. Oh no, we're talking about food again. No, no, we're back on food. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 I mean, I don't know if you can because. Uh, Oh, the fishing boats got destroyed. <laughs> yes, Piccolo uh, didn't like being caught eating fish, so he blew up the boat. <laughs> yeah, he got embarrassed. My soul, no. <laughs> no one's supposed to see me eat. No one wants to know I live like this. <laughs> Stop staring at me. I'm a, I'm a child, and this is weird. You're the weird one, not me. So really, I should be able to blow up a boat whenever I feel like it because I'm a child. Child's rights. Is, it, yeah, is that a kid sitting out there? I wonder what he's saying because, you know, the ocean's loud. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> he sounds adorable. <laughs> oh, look, he's waving at us. Oh! <laughs> that boat sinks so fast. Oh, <laughs> the boat disappeared. <laughs> Titanic's like, damn, son, slow down. You got, you got to work a sinking. Yeah. You got to milk it. How are you going to get your story told by some yeah. eccentric millionaire? No. how? Yeah. How are they supposed to film it if it goes down instantly? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. And then he, and then honestly, the craziest part of this scene to me. Speak truth to power. Is when after he sinks a boat, a job well done, he just bites into the tuna like it's that weird pepper in Iron Chef. Yeah, I don't like that. You gotta, you gotta take as the he, scales as he off. Stared at us. Oh he was yeah, flexing on us. Yeah, weird flex, but okay, Piccolo Junior. <laughs> yeah, scales aren't a problem for you, apparently. Yeah, sure, great. Rub it in. You can get fresh sushi whenever you want. <laughs> Try to take Piccolo Junior out for a nice meal. He's all like, you know. I can just walk into the water and get this myself. Costs nothing. 
They want to Think charge that's... 1875 for a espresso tuna roll. Actually, I, you're right. That is way too much for a spicy tune. Let's let's go somewhere else. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, no, makes sense. Cool. I know this place. It's it's like a couple blocks up. Uh, they do really really good barbecue. Are you into barbecue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. What? I'll take some burnt ends. Hmm. You know what else tastes good? Burnt human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I opened up to you, and this is my reward. Um. I wonder am what I, Goku tastes like. Am I good? Hey, I'm still a little cautious. Oh. Am, I good, am I good at least? Yeah, a little salty, but oh. I told well, you, I told you, I'm, keto I'm was a, a bad idea. I'm a bit of a rap scallion. So. Oh, scallions! That's yeah, what's but, missing. Ah, <laughs> uh, we solved it. Well, oh, enjoy. Good. Okay. <laughs> mm. Waiter, scallions. Uh, I'm just an officer of the law, but. Here you go. I'm out of here. Mm. These humans maybe aren't so bad. Just kidding. Uh, in the uh, line of duty. <laughs> See. See. Yeah, I threw you a curveball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vince, did you pay 18 bucks for a spicy tuna roll? No. God, okay, no. Good. Come on. Good. Jesus. They are five bucks. Don't, don't at me. Look, I'll pay six bucks for a tuna roll at my convenience through an app. You know what I mean? I gotcha. But five dollars is should be the upper limit. Mm-hmm. Five fifty. Okay. Yeah. You better and have we're, some we're bomb about even in, specialty rolls. And that's the thing we're talking about. Like even in the city. Come on. That's that. Like, come on. Come on. Speaking of come on. We, we we go back to the lookout. This is after Kami, uh, last episode, agreed to help Goku br- and uh, bring the dragon back. Uh, Kami says, okay, Mr. Popo, go get the dragon so I can revive him. And basically, Mr. Popo is uh, a puzzle wizard. <laughs> he glues that dragon back together. How, I, how did you it, feel it, about this, Aaron? So it 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 did, I, I think I knew... That this is how the that how Shenlong was made, but I kind of forgot. I a hundred percent forgot, and I was like, <laughs> "I'm like, oh yeah, he is a statue that just has to get glued back together." That's what I felt was a little like, "All right, you're just gonna glue a giant mystical being back together that can bring back multiple dead." Well, That's the a- way po- Mr. Popo explained it, yes, he said, "I make." Po- Mr. Popo makes things for Kami, and then Kami breathes life into them. Hmm. Are you... You already live with him, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's nice. It is It is nice. That's, that's his love language. Mm-hmm. They, these, Popo and Kami seem to have a good thing going up there at the lookout. Uh, and, you know, they got this little monkey boy disrupting everything, asking for favors and all that stuff. <laughs> well, um, they've been meaning to adopt, and this is... A good. It's like when they adopt a pet. It's like, well, Mr. Popo, I think this would be good trading for for a, when we do decide to adopt. Oh yes, Kami, I think this would be a good idea. But I'm also a bit wary of the task that lies ahead. Taking care of a child can be very difficult. But you're so good with statues. Surely that will translate over. Ah yes, my love to build and sculpt. I, you know, put most of that on hold once I met you. Maybe I'd get back to that once we had a child. I could pass on, you know, the, this love of mine to theirs. Did I hold, are you saying I held your career back? Oh, no. I. Right after we started, you know, hanging out and mm-hmm. things started going really well, I, I didn't tell you this, but I got an offer to put some of my sculptures on display. Um... At a uh, very nice gallery in Los Angeles that could have... What? Wait, what's that note that fell out of your pocket? Oh. You just quickly grab uh, it. Please, and just, open it up. Kami, Did it's, it's it? fine. I don't, I don't... The Guggenheim? Yes. This Kami. was... This is dated yesterday. Kami. You... You should do this. But... Don't let me hold you back. 
but who will guard you and feed the birds? You you never remember to feed the birds. It's so upsetting. I'm busy guarding Earth. Oh, and... okay. Yes, you're guarding Earth by what? Not uh, killing away, anyone or... Pulling at collar. Uh, uh, look, Kami, mm-hmm. I'm glad we're having this right now in front of the boy with the tail. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be paying much attention. <laughs> no, he's just, he's staring off. And I mean, I don't think, honestly, taking care of him, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I, I, I'm sure you're right. but <laughs> It's going to be plant levels of taking care of it. Speaking of which, those palms look... Oh, here we go. What? Oh, oh, so now it's on me. <laughs> and see. They're working it out. They're working it out, those two. God, give them a sitcom. Bless yeah. that mess. <laughs> I, I look, I like a Dak Shepherd, but boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is there a show called Bless This Mess? Yes. Does it star Dak Shepherd? Yes. What is the premise of the show? The I premise he just had his dumb podcast. Oh no, 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 no. Bless this mess is Dak Shepherd and um I do not know this actress's name, and I do not do research on this podcast, so I will not find out at this current time. If you know the cast and crew <laughs> of Bless This Mess on ABC, please send it in to us at comebyhousepartypod at gmail.com. But for now, let's just Can call you say her. It about a priest <clears throat> construct a priest contractor. Oh, Aaron, if only it was something <laughs> that simple and fun. Instead, Bless This Mess is about a big city couple that wants to get away from it all and they spontaneously quit their jobs to move out into the country yep it's green acres i forgot about cool Cool, cool, it's a remake of green acres that's what they were hoping you were gonna do (laughs) they're on to (laughs) us they realize bless this mess is just green acre reboot uh change the name again uh okay um deck to the future Ooh, that's so. Well, we already have a project in development with Dak Shepard where he he goes. He's, back a, to, he's I, a he's a time traveling podcaster and he's interviewing famous people. I mean, in the future, actually, yeah. Like, I mean, it's not. I mean, that's why we're developing it. It's not a terrible no idea for an actual thing that could exist. No, it's not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this will go on free form. Yeah it it gets real melodramatic. <laughs> what if we call it? Blue fields. Blue blue fields. I like it. I like mm, it. Yeah. You know, we're we're done. What? Let's just call it Green Acres. It's the reboot of Green Acres. Well, because the new Green Acres is going to come out on Disney Plus. Ah, uh, they just announced that at Star Wars Day. I don't know why. <laughs> they're just they're just rubbing it in. And see, Disney owns everything, and that's not cool. Disney owns everything, <laughs> and it's not cool if you're not part of the team. Even if you are, I'm sure. Look, it's a monopoly like Standard Oil. I said it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Take them to task. We don't get political on this podcast unless it comes to entertainment. I look. I hit me up if you want my un. <laughs> Research thoughts Ooh. on Disney and how I do believe it's a monopoly. As the dragon is being revived with Gorilla Glue. I don't know why I put Gorilla Glue in air quotes. I was going to say Elmer's. <laughs> like leftover from two years ago. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, mostly yeah. It's one of out. those. It's one of those Elmer's where you have to like, you twist up the cap to release it. But there's so much glue there that you just have to cut it off. <laughs> I was busy putting it on my hand and letting it dry and then peeling it off because I'm a creep. Oh, you, mis- know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, Mr. Popo. You always find interesting crafts to do while I'm busy, you know, protecting Earth. Yep, in your room, protecting Earth. I'm in my chair watching my crystal ball, protecting Earth, and mm-hmm, definitely mm-hmm. not playing The Division 2. Wait, what? You, wait a minute, you, huh? I'm not going to get into it now, okay? Okay, oh. You just knew I was, you know, I really enjoyed the first division, is all I'm going to say. We all did, Mr. Popo, but uh, unfortunately, they came out, I mean, fortunately, they came out with a new one, and I only Mm. have one controller. 
Mm, can't purchase another one. Not they, in the budget. U- UPS doesn't deliver <laughs> to the lookout. How'd you... Uh, uh, look, I don't want mm-hmm. to have this conversation. Let's just get this dragon revived and maybe I'll wish for UPS to deliver here. Maybe you should. <laughs> maybe you should, Mr. Popo. Maybe I'll sculpt a UPS man to come. And maybe I'll bring a very, him to life. Ha- a very handsome. Maybe I'll bring him to life. Toned. Oh, Mr. Popo. <laughs> you just want some eye candy. Mm, wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> Ah, uh, fine. Build your sculpted UPS man. Yay! Make, and I'll show you what Brown can do for you. <laughs> and and see. see. I, look, I think we just hit the button, right? Oh, that about Mr. Popo and Kami's relationship? They're, yeah, they're, that's the best a couple if I've ever seen one. Heck yeah! Gary, go, right. ahead, Aaron, go ahead and hit that button. All right. Look, Cannon, not Nick Cannon, should be actual Cannon. Mm-hmm. Mr. Popo and Kami are in a domestic relationship. <laughs> it's true. Right? They gotta be. They 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 have fun with you. They look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The evidence is your <laughs> honor. <laughs> the evidence is there. It, uh, there's also more evidence as to what Kami wants to do with Goku. Remember... Kami has uh, been qualifying, like, yes, Goku, I'll help you, but you have to train here for until, like, until I see fit uh, up here on the lookout. But we get more of a reveal of what exactly uh, Kami needs Goku to do, because Kami says, Goku, now that I've revived the dragon, the, the dragon is going back down to the Dragon Balls, it has to find them. Um, and I'm only doing this to help you and your friends out, because you proved yourself worthy by defeating King Piccolo. But now remember, I need you to train here for three years until the next tournament. So now we get a little, a little, a little bit more, a little bit more of a feast for us, information wise. Yeah, which Goku is super excited about. He's like, yeah, of course. Why why wouldn't I? But here, um, did he? Yeah, he does reveal that. Look. You didn't quite kill King Piccolo. He's still around, kind of. Yeah. And he's definitely going to go to the tournament. He loves that. He, MMA fan, he fucking loves that shit. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll be there. He'll be, he'll be in the Affliction t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll have a sign. What is it? Uh, 316? That, I mean, that's wrestling. But yeah. That's wrestling? I, <laughs> I knew that was wrestling. But that's similar. Similar? Yeah. No, no, that works out. Look, you, you got to beat him up is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I, can't do it now. You got to train with me and my boy. Mm-hmm. Three whole years. Uh, but but before that can happen, he's got to pee. <laughs> That's right. Did they, did they keep that? They did. They keep that. Goku okay. had to pee. I liked it. It was, a, it was a classic Goku bit. He's super serious and excited about training. Um, and then right before, he's like, but I have to pee. And then... Man, only Goku can make a god fall over. You know what I mean? Oh, both of them just boom, boom. And he does the cute, like, oh, he goes from, like, yeah, like you said, serious to pee dance, mm-hmm. you know, in a second flat. He, cute little pee dance. Yep. I was also, like, I don't know why, but I was surprised that there's an actual bathroom on the lookout. Like, there's pl- there's plumbing. I just assumed it'd be a hole. I thought we were going to get a you joke. Think, <laughs> you think it's a... Uh... Goku, just go over the sides. Yes, <laughs> it's, that's what I what thought. Do you, what? <laughs> We're all dudes here. I just, well, I don't know. I assumed Goku has never had an issue peeing in front of people before. That's true. So why not just pee off the side? It's it, it's going to disappear before it gets anywhere close to the ground. I don't know. Maybe there's just one guy who lives below <laughs> Kami Tower like every goddamn day. <laughs> Every day it's seven thirty. Someone, look, I have to have my coffee and newspaper here on my outdoor bench. I built it. I'm gonna use it. Come hell or high water or urine or, and shit. Uh, these birds are having real human and alien creature like shits. I don't get it. <laughs> but I look, I have all this property. I'm good. I gotta use it. Be crazy not to. 
Hey, hon. Are you are you yelling at the clouds again? Yes, the poop clouds. Uh-huh, the poop clouds. Okay, hon. Well, uh, the kids and their friends are scared. So can you, can you come inside? Not until I finish page seven. All right, well, once you finish page seven, why don't you come inside? You know I made a roast. I'd be hungry, dear, but I'm covered in filth. Oh, okay. I'll get the hose. I'll get the hose. Yes. And, and see. see. A man with convictions. <laughs> you got to hold fast to those mm-hmm. convictions. So we, bef- before we figure out what these Dragon Balls done do, we, we meet some other people and see what they're doing. Oh, yeah. So, uh, a rare, uh, you've got, you're already laughing. Wait, what? So let, let me explain the scene. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then you can tell me how, if it's different. Gadgerobi's looking up. He's wondering what's going on. Corden scares him like a jerk. Um, Corden accuses Yajirobe of being concerned with Goku. He's like, no way. It's not like I like him or anything. Uh." So, so. Part one, did that hold in your version? Uh, yes. He's being real Sundara about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very much like, hey, it's okay to care about your friend. Then, no, I, why would I care about Goku? I'm a rodent. <laughs> I killed my master, then ate him. He was delicious. <laughs> well aged. <laughs> anyway, what's the next <laughs> thing that happens in this? Um... Then, then they know, yeah, yeah, Jirobe, he's got, something's wrong with his belly. Yeah, there's something in there. (laughs) It doesn't seem like it belongs. Yeah. Corrin tries to open up his Komodo, which is not great, (laughs) but, but all these be a bag of beans spill out. Bag of beans. And then he, he brings up, he's like, you said you don't like them. It's like, what's it to you? Hey, you got, you got a ton of, you got boatloads of these beans. What's the matter? Yeah. And then he, his comeback is. You're never going to be able to ride Kinto Un. Yeah. Which I feel is a little harsh. Yeah. That, in in mine, it was very similar. Corrin is like, you remember what happened last time? Yajirobe says, oh, you're just being stingy. I was like, Wait, okay. okay. Um, but yeah, then Corrin rounds it all up by saying, you'll never get to ride Kinto Un with behavior like that, Yajirobe. That's probably the best I've ever done it. That felt really good. Oh, that was... Oh, I'm glad we got it clean. Put that put that on the reel, baby. Oh, yeah, that's going up. It's going up on a Tuesday. Um, then, Yajirobe, his comeback. Shut up. You're just a stupid cat. A cat. <laughs> and then, the retort. Hold on. Now I'm intimidated to do my chord. Because <laughs> you did it so good. I'm a cat man. A cat man. <laughs> Hold on. Then Yajirobe says, You're a cat and you know it. And then <gasps> Corrin, after a beat, after he licks his paws, he's like, Yeah, you're right. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so, so let me so so a recap. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. So for th- for the for the audience, because I know I I I chopped that up a little bit. Chopped and screwed. Shut up, you're just a stupid cat. Followed by a cat man. A cat man. Followed by you're a cat, and you know it. Followed by a comedic pause. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, even you even got in comedic pause. Like I wouldn't notice. Mm-hmm. Both P A U S E and P A W S. Um, two ways. I I unfortunately didn't write down every line of that after the Nimbus thing, but uh, Just, I think it's mostly like Yajirobe saying like, "Ah, oh, you shut up." Then. Corrin says, you shut up, or something like that. <laughs> like, it, it's very, it, it's not as, like, pointed really as, as yours. It was very, like, just bickering. That's what I wrote down. I was like, they bicker <laughs> at the end of that yeah. scene. Um, but I did like how it, it, it in the scene, it was cuts to their whole face. <laughs> their whole oh, real, face real is Real thick close-ups, yeah. Yeah, real big close-ups of their big old faces. <laughs> Those chubby cheeks, they both got. You just want to oh, pinch them. Oh, they're so cute. You just want to pinch them and rub them. Uh, but I wrote, Corn is a cute kitty. He is. 
That he is. I mean, he confirmed it. He's like, yeah, I'm a cat. Fine. <laughs> now you know the truth. And you can never leave. Whoa, Corrin, slow down. Everyone thinks I'm a cat man, but I'm just a highly evolved cat from oh. the planet Catman Do. Well, okay. Look. I came here thousands of years ago to spread the gospel of kitty catism. Why do you think you why do you think the Egyptians worship cats? I, I thought because they were tasty. No, you fool, because we're the superior race. No, I, I don't know about that. And I've been hiding out until the internet gets invented and everyone loves cats again. The who's it now? Uh, you'll, well, I mean, you won't see because I'm about to kill you. Uh, yeah, wait, now. wait, please, go Any last words, uh, you bean-eating freak? Can I have more beans? Yeah, I kick, I kicked, him over. I kicked the bag over to you. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, don't okay. forget, sorry, I know you're jumpy. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought I fell, but I was screaming. You should, you should die in a full stomach. Full of lead. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wait, is lead in these? I, I was referring to the gun that I'm about to shoot you with. Oh. I'm just going to eat these beans in. God, you're, dis- God, you're disgusting. This is my last meal. Shut up. I'll wait till you. I'll, I won't kill you until you finish eating beans. I'll never That's finish my eating beans. I'm oh, the no. Algerobi, king of beans. Yes. He's just going. It's kind of, it's kind of hypnotizing. And Yajirobe ate for three whole years. Hey, you remember that I'm an alien or anything? Uh, I can't feel anything but my full belly. All right, no one's going to believe his fat ass. Let's go to this tournament. And see. Whoa, Corin. Corin. Corin just has no patience for Yajirobe at this point. He's been up there for... Leave! Yeah. Yajirobe? <laughs> yeah, why is it Yajirobe left? We need my magic beads! He's, yeah. It's a jump. He's, he He'll can survive, survive it. He'll yeah. survive it. I don't know, Corin, he's like, yeah, I like this. Habit. This guy, you know, like that friend who's like, eh, hey, he's a laugh. All your other friends are like, why do you hang out with that guy? It's like, yeah, he makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good time to have around. Uh, if you watch the episode along with us, uh, you're probably like, "Hey, wait a second, but don't don't you worry, don't you worry about it." Look, we just got a little excited, okay? Yeah, you, and yeah, we did a couple of things we, a little bit out of order. We love those beans, and we got to talk about. We wanted to talk about those beans real bad, uh, but we forgot but, to well, mention the the show, not us. Yeah. The show quickly cuts back to real quick as yeah. Goku's taking a pee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we have we learned that. The real reason Kami did not fight King Piccolo is because he died too. Exactly. Mr. Popo he, reminds Kami, he's like, hey, if you're training Goku to defeat, you know, the new Piccolo and he kills him, that means you die too. And Kami basically is like, yep, this is what I get for bringing that demon into the world in the first place. This is my he, retribution. Does he mention that it would be unfitting of a Kami to commit suicide? Because he says that shit. No. That is dark. Yeah. That's darker than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate it. I mean, it's, yeah, don't don't kill yourself, Kami. No, We'll we'll figure this. You made a mistake when you were young. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. You, like many of us when you were young, decided, (laughs) hey, I can't be both of these things. (laughs) I can't be a football player and a math nerd. I have to pick one. Yeah, that's that's the first episode of Riverdale. <laughs> Although RC chooses to do everything. That's true. Fuck his fuck his teacher. Fuck Betty. No, fuck Betty. Not fuck. No, sorry. Hold on. It, it's fuck Veronica. Not, not fuck Betty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who really wants to fuck our? It's look. It's complex. Go it's to all, yeah. Go to Maple Syrup Blood Money. <laughs> Figure podcast, that out on for that all that podcast. info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mr. Popo has a very good end line before we cut to the scene. He goes, Mr. Popo is full of conflicting emotions. God. So are we, bud. Mr. Popo. Also because they're in a domestic relationship. He's got evidence. It. <laughs> More evidence. But also Mr. Popo, like, 
I feel, I feel like a lot of people just kind of forgot how interesting of a character he is over the years because of the way that he looks. Everybody's like, no, he can't have any value to the show. He's actually a really well-rounded uh, character. I, I also, going in, I thought this was going to be jokesy, jokesy, jokes character. Right. But Dragon Ball done got me again, man. Every everyone's pretty thought out. Yeah, they have their, like, specific games. Mm -hmm. I mean, except for Oolong. Oolong's trash. Let's uh, Oolong trash. We all Oolong know. is trash. But, like, launch, we just thought she was some gimmick. But it's like, no, 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 no. There's a lot more here. Again, bad look. The, wor the worst look. Mm -hmm. But good character. Good character. I, t I too, have conflicting emotions, Mr. <laughs> Popo. Well, we will address those conflicting emotions right after this commercial. Coming to Disney Plus at some point soon. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, blessed be this subway. Hey, I'm just trying to eat my BMT. I don't need your God talk. Look, friend, I may be a priest, but I'm also the contractor that built this place for you to eat. Well, it's a real mess. What are you going to do about it? How about this, sir? How about this? I bless this mess. Oh, my sandwich is divine. <laughs> oh! A priest by day and a contractor also by day. You know what? Jesus would have loved this. <laughs> this, this is his shit. Me, the customer, saying this. I wouldn't use those words, but you know what? Jesus would love this shit. Hey, priest, I need a strong man to swing a... I'm a lady. To swing a strong hammer in my home to oh. redo my kitchen. Oh, a kitchen redux. I'd love to help. But you know, I'm married to the Lord Jesus Christ, oh. ma'am. He gets all the hunky guys. Deck Shepherd is a priest with a great hobby for carpentry. <laughs> Jesus point double finger guns points down from a cloud towards Deck Shepherd. Jesus is being played by Will Ferrell, so they can have him in the credits for the first episode. Look at that! He's doing that. He's doing that I beam all wrong. That's not how I would have done it back in the day when it was real woodworking. Now, my son. You must let this priest do his thing. That's it. The premise of the show is me coming down as a rival contract in disguise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Season two. <laughs> coming to Disney Plus sometime soon. Bless this mess. Also, listen to my podcast, uh, Armchair Expert. We got a Topher Grace on next week. It's definitely not just a shameless cross promotion. I'm totally interested in what he has to say. Yeah. My good, good friend. Topher. Tofer Gruss. To Tafer Gruss. Taper. The gusset. Bless this mess. <laughs> Coming soon to Disney Plus. We own everything. Uh -huh. And they own us now, apparently. Yeah, yeah, they, they totally do. We we just got the um we just got if, word after running that ad. Look, if you want Kame House Party Premium mm. after hours in the dark <laughs> up all night. Kame House Party Premium. Yum. If you want an Asiago cheese bun. Ooh. With Gruyere cheese and alfalfa sprouts on your Kame House Party podcast, get Kame House Party Premium. Kame House Party Premium comes with all the toppings with just a little bit of extra charge. Come to Disney Plus to get your fix of Kame House Party Premium. Avocado not included in the premium price. Oh, we're hungry, okay? Yeah, we're we're starving right now. For, but for you real. know who else is starving? 
Well, not Yamcha, because we cut to the Kame uh, house right after commercial. This motherfucker. And this... Oh, I'm about to go in on Yamcha, because... Do it. This... Get him. This linen t-shirt wearing motherfucker. This goddamn Bahama mama in the <laughs> beach, on the beach, sitting there with his nice pants on. Motherfucker. Not trading. Not that really That Boma probably bought for You know he didn't buy that himself. Oh, you know he didn't buy that for himself. He a buster. <laughs> Yamcha a total buster. He... he <laughs> He's in the pas- he's in the uh, passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. He's a scrub. Yeah, Puar. Puar yeah. owns that car. Puar we know. owns I think that we co- car. I think we covered this mm-hmm. in previous episodes. Puar is, Puar is that car. <laughs> <laughs> Yanja might as well hitch a ride with Oolong, because he's just as useless. Tell tell me if the line here is the same. So is. You know, Yamcha's thinking about, I don't know, Yamcha things. Tien, sweaty, from from hard, from hard work. Still bandaged, mind you. Mm-hmm. Putting in that work. Yeah. He sits down. Yamcha's just like, ah, training hard, I see. Well, don't overdo it. Yeah. yeah. He's like, the tournament's three years away. That's yeah, his whole s- motto. You sabotaging piece of shit. Yamcha, you coward. Get out there. Your don't don't try too hard. Uh, don't You don't want to exert yourself. Uh, certainly not because uh, I'm not training because I'm scared of punches. I also don't like that at this point, Yamcha is also like in this exchange. He's comically, like not comically, but he's holding one of the uh, dormant dragon balls in his hand. And just he just drops it. it. Yeah, he does casually drop it. Uh, we also get to see what everybody else is doing around the Kame house at this time. Launch is just think, looking out. She's, you know, in like any action movie or superhero movie where the heroes are like hanging out, they're recuperating, they're trying to figure out their next step. Yep, yep, yep. And then the love interest, or someone's looking at their love interest through the window, through the frame, through the door frame, and just leaning, and like they've got a satisfied look on their face. Oh yeah, that's Launch. Launch is serving up looks, killing it <clears throat> in a bowling shirt. Yeah. Crushing that bowling shirt. Oh, uh, she's thinking about that man, that hot man. Ooh, that bald boy who now <laughs> likes to wear a shirt and train. Yeah, that's <laughs> the shirt is her fetish. Yeah, hey, look, that is character development on Tien's <laughs> part. Is he's he's adulting by wearing a shirt. Yeah. Uh but I mean, speaking of other characters that are longingly looking out at the window at their uh love interest or partner, Poir is you know, doing the same thing, looking out the window. Probably Yom should be like, why are you so lazy? Tiet is making you look like a chump. That drink's not even alcoholic. <laughs> when you sipped it, you said it was so strong. And I just, it's virgin like you. Oh! oh! Poor slam. <laughs> um, but what is it? Oolong's reading a, ma- a funny manga. Mm-hmm. He was yucking it up while uh, Turtle sips a bunch of tea, like a classy, like a classy terrapin that he is. <laughs> Bulma had a bath and is. At first, I'm like, really? Do we need to go see her look through underwear? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That's because because Krillin's in there. That's the only way we get back to. It's, oh yeah, yeah, our friends are still freeze dried. <laughs> <laughs> is that they happen to be in Bulma's underwear drawer, mm-hmm. which is Bulma? Why you got a drawer here? You just moving in? Yeah, that's another thing. Why does she have a drawer there? Uh, <laughs> Unless no. her and Launch are sharing an underwear drawer. Which Maybe is, that's you know what that makes them. That's probably what it is. I was gonna do some hackneyed '90s routine. Uh-huh, uh huh. <laughs> but we won't go that. We won't do that shit. Well, yeah. Maybe She's, on Kame House Party Premium. Premium, yeah. We'll talk about how women be shopping. (laughs) (laughs) That that grown-up humor. Uh Uh-huh. You know. Oh, here's a little preview of Kamehameha House Party Premium. (laughs) Hey, Aaron. Yeah, Vince. I hear these women out here be shopping. (laughs) Yeah, that's also what I hear as an adult male. As adults. We're... 
18 and up. <laughs> Hope yep. the captures didn't hit you on your way in. <laughs> yeah. As men, we despise shopping and buying things. Yeah, unless it's meat. Yeah. Unless it's or, flank steaks. Or our pornography. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy all the pornography I want because it's <laughs> premium. Uh, much like our subscription to Pornhub, this podcast is premium. premium. And that's just a taste, taste. of just what a, Kame a, House Party so Premium on the new Disney streaming service is going to be Disney like. Disney Plus, yeah. The mouse is a louse. <laughs> <laughs> so then all of a sudden she notices something on that drawer. It's all six Dragon Balls back. And then the one that Yamcha carelessly dropped. He's back. also back. Yeah, the Dragon Balls are back. Dragon Balls are and back. They, dude, they waste no time. Like, let's do this thing, some of the balls. Bam. I like that. I like that, for real. I, uh, uh, all joking aside, I thought that was really refreshing <laughs> that we got to see the resurrection happen ASAP. Uh, no, it was. I mean, yeah, it's not like can it can it be true? Yeah, because we're close enough to the end where I was like, they might not do it. They might make oh, me wait another episode for we, for all those bald boys to come back to life. Yeah, that would be some Z shit, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be some Z shit for real. Yeah, they're like code, you know, <laughs> code orange. Let's go, uh, everyone p- to your stations. Uncapsule these frozen boys. Mm-hmm. Gather them up. And then everyone's like, please work, please work, please work. It does. It does work. Um, At Shenron, he appears before them. And I guess he was pretty chatty after being dead for so long. Uh, Okay. So tell me all the beans that got spilled. So I I, I don't know why this like stuck out to me. It just feels weird that Shenron, uh, like they're asking him questions like, hey, do you know what happened to Goku? And he's like, Oh, he's at the lookout, chilling with Kami. He's going to be training there for three years. He'll see you at the tournament. Also, uh, you know, Corin turns out he's a cat, not just a cat man. Uh, also, uh, <clears throat> breaking news. Breaking news. I'm now dating Mariah Carey. Ooh, Fuck you, she crazy. Nick Cannon. She crazy. That's what I heard. Shenron like it crazy. <laughs> that's, I, okay, that's pretty much the same. I mean, aside from that juice gossip. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what Shen Long said to them. I thought you were going to say, like, also, Piccolo and Kami, kind of the same person. I thought it was going to be that kind of reveal. Well, they asked they asked him, like, who is he trading with? And they, Shenron was like, Oh, you'll know soon enough, or something like oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he, oh, he spills those beans real quick. Oh, really? He's like, yeah, your boy's training with God, Kami. Because ah. everyone freaks out. <laughs> God. Oh, okay, get- okay, so that's it. So the difference is, I don't think he says that Kami is God, because they don't really, they don't, they're like, oh, who's that? Because it's not until after Master Roshi comes back to life. That, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Roshi sorry, spills I, I all the I skipped ahead. I skipped ahead, but yes. Because then, of course, they wish for uh, all their friends who King Piccolo killed back to life. Yeah, Bulma, selfish. Bulma, very selfish. Only thought about her and her friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, somehow Yamcha is the moral high ground there. Uh, is like, but wait, what about all the other people King Piccolo killed? And then it just felt like Shenron, Shenron was like, you know what, guys? I'm back. Let's just, I'm just going to do this. This is a solid from a man Kami upstairs. Yeah. You guys keep asking for, like, this is technically two wishes in one, but uh, I'll yeah. do it. Well, we're, I mean, what were the last couple of wishes? Yeah. What? Underwear. Mm-hmm. Bringing a person back to life. It's, 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 that's reasonable. Youth. Eternal youth. That was yeah, the last yeah, one. yeah, yeah. That nonsense. Mm-hmm. See how you saw how that turned out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he's like, yeah, I, I kind of fucked you on that one. I'll, I'll do this. It's like a make good call uh, by a like a basketball referee. <laughs> they make yeah. a bad call. Oh the court. yeah. Oh, I hate that in college football where it's like we know we fucked up this play, so uh, we're gonna give uh, you here's another. another one. Oh, false start. Yep. There we go. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, here's this again. Uh, sorry. <laughs> he didn't even monkey palm because the exact wish. 
if we're, be, if we're being uh, technical about it, mm-hmm. is that bring back everyone that King Piccolo killed. So a few things. One, Krillin didn't get killed by King Piccolo. Mm. Technically, he should still be dead. Aaron, you're right. But he, I mean, but he so, brought him back. But he brought him back. So I think Shenlong, he interpreted it his way. Mm-hmm. But my question is, are we talking about everyone? Like way, way back in the day? Oh. Roshi's master? Mm, master maybe? Mutaito comes back and yeah. all Roshi's... Uh, master Ron Swanson? That would be really cool if that is what actually happened. But I don't think I don't, it did. No, I think he, he's like, I know what you're talking about. Uh, we're only talking about this current canon, right? Mm-hmm. Just recently, mm-hmm. since, he, since he got out of that rice cooker. Yes. Declare, you guys got to be more careful with these wishes. I'm not always going to be so generous. <laughs> y'all, y'all caught me on a good day. Yeah. Watch out, though. I'm, 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 I'm tricksy. <laughs> Like those hobbitses. <laughs> yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> you guys see that? They're doing the extended version at the New Beverly. You wanna? You guys wanna go? <laughs> I got a couple extra tickets. No. Uh, well, oh, Oolong. Oh. The thing is, Oolong's raising his hand, but Shudderon doesn't like, want to no, go. No, with him. absolutely no one. <laughs> uh, me. Oh. All hey. right. Well. That's cool. You're going to spend time with your friends. All right. Well, peace. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So, wish granted. Wish granted. Krillin pops up out of his coffin. And as soon as he does, Launch slaps the back of his head in excitement. And I laughed so hard at this moment. It's just... Launch, was, gets the, Launch gets the perfect comedy beats for every scene. It, it like, no, it was timed so perfectly. I was not expecting it. Right? That she was so happy that she would slap a man. <laughs> I can't wait till the next, the next time I see you in person. I'm just going to hit you Bam. upside the head real, real hard. Uh, well, at least I know that's like, yeah, I know what this is in reference to. Ah, uh, he loves me. I'll allow it. <laughs> But I mean, there's something to that, you know. Everybody likes a good love tap. Yeah, 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 yeah. An atta boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But everyone, yeah, uh, all our bald boys come back, and even it's... our bald boy from uh, a land far in the desert, <laughs> Nam is back. Nam's back. He's a daddy, mm-hmm. which I think we knew. Yeah, right. He's a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's you know, King Chapo. King, yeah, King Chapo. King Chapa back. Man Wolf. <laughs> like Carrie. Oh, at the my end of God. Carrie. That scares was... the shit out of his girlfriend. Mm hmm. Also, Man Wolf. Nice. Hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, he did. He got his wish. He did, he did all right by himself. Yeah. Everything worked out for Man Wolf. That I don't was... know, man. If you're in the Tenkaichi tournament, that's something. That's something. Yeah. So, that's someone's thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, even Monster Beast Gearin is back. Yeah, M. Beast Garrett. Oh, yeah, sorry. Bacteria, someone, here's the saddest part about all this. Someone literally threw Bacterium away because he wakes up in a, in a landfill. In a landfill. Now, now for him to wake up in a landfill, do you, Aaron, do you think when he woke up in the landfill, he thought he was in heaven? <laughs> I can't do a Bacterium voice. but I, I don't even remember what it sounds oh, yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> that is, is a veritable smorgasbord. <laughs> Just singing the Templeton song. I don't know if Krillin says this in yours, but he's a little befuddled. He's like, wait, I was dead up yeah. until now? He's like, I was dead that whole time? So Limbo ain't so bad, if you don't know. It's right. just not knowing. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Mm-hmm. Non-existence. What's he the big didn't deal? Have to, didn't have to rush so so far. Yeah. Goku was all concerned about Limbo. Mr. Popo was right. They must have had great board games. <laughs> you know how, like, say you're at a train station and you're just waiting, airport, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. And once you finally get on the plane, you're like, all right, well, that's done. You don't think about it. I don't go back and reminisce about times I've waited in an airport. This is true. You know, it's just kind of meh. I think I've only remembered times I've waited in an airport when they've had TVs playing 
specific basketball games that are on. <laughs> I remember running to try and catch a flight. Mm. But that ain't waiting, baby. Hey, waiting, you run it. So how so your buddy comes to you, he's like, Yeah, I've been working out. I've been uh, you know, training with God. Uh <laughs> huh? that's, that's essentially it, right? Yeah. What Goku's doing. Yeah, that's what Goku's doing. He's like, Oh yeah, just me. I've been you know, oh, uh the last three years I um you know, I put together uh uh, a clay dragon with a friend of mine and um i meditated a lot and i met god and we trained together and he sent me on a mission but other than that you know pretty, pretty you boring know, he made a rock yeah i made a rock was so big that only i could lift it it's true <laughs> so we so solved that one i guess yeah who boy isn't that tough <laughs> but that this pumps everyone up yes. even yamcha Tien, let's train for the tournament. Krillin, fuck yes. Yamcha, do I have to? Okay, fine. Pretty much. Like, I think Yamcha only was trained, is only like, oh yeah, let's train because his master's back. Yeah. When, when Roshi's away, the Yamcha will... Will play. Will play the lazy game. I don't know, Jimmy Jimmy Buffett, while he <laughs> sits in his lounger. Like, drinking his virgin Bahama mama. Uh, island life. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sure it's tempting on Kame. Beautiful sunsets. Beautiful sunsets. Ocean breeze. 360 sunsets. Ooh. 360 no scope sunsets. Mm hmm. 360 no scope 420 sunsets. <laughs> XXX. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was for the premium. That's for premium. Premium. Then Roshi, he gets a little shy. He's like, a uh, Bulma. And then Bulma just gets, you know, the look. Oh, yeah. The, if looks could kill, this one. That that's you know that's an atomic look right that's there. That's a that's a look in the second degree. Mm -hmm. It's like since you know it's been a, it's been a while. Can I uh, you know a little uh, pafu pafu? Okay, so he does say pafu pafu in yours. Yeah, and then she's like, "What?" And then he quickly scoots back away from her. He's like, "Yeah, hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's train." Yep, yep, yep. In mine, he's Why, like, what? How about a kiss, 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 kiss? Doing the no. motion of Pafu He's Pafu. clearly doing the boob motion. We all know what it means now. Yeah. We haven't seen the Pafu Pafu motion in a while, but welcome back. <laughs> yep, Roshi. Still Roshi. Hey, can't kill Hey, can't kill Perv. <laughs> if you die horny in the game, you die, die horny, horny in, in real life. life. And then back up, Goku is... He's bad at meditating. Who would have thought? Who would have thought training Goku's mind would be harder than training his body? He keeps asking questions like, can I take a bathroom break? And Popo's just like, shut up. No talk. Just close your eyes. No hold, talking. You're meditating. Hold it, is, is that response. <laughs> to, he's like, I have to go to the bathroom. And Mr. Popo goes, hold it, Goku. Mm -hmm. So calm. Will they train this boy? Will they train this boy? Will uh, will we? Are we gonna get a time jump soon? I feel I like, assume, I feel like I there's gonna be a surprise time jump somewhere in these next like three to five. Because we're, I think we have we have around what twenty five to thirty episodes left of the original Dragon Ball, and I just made myself sad. Yep. Yep. All right, gonna go cry into a pillow. I think we actually have. Uh, no, this is research fits. I know this isn't research. This is me doing mental math, not okay. research. It's okay, mental okay, math. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we've got. If it's already in your brain, then it's not the research game. That was dope. Is what my English teacher never said. I think we have 27 episodes left. <sighs> That's sad. But, but I'm just... gonna miss. I'm gonna miss little squatty boy Goku. Oh, I know, I know. Gonna his, and we're, not, we're, we're gonna lose him here shortly. He's gonna be a man soon. He's gonna be a tall, tall, sixteen-year-old man. No, I think he's gonna be eight. I think he's gonna be of age. He's getting married, right? Oh yeah, he has to be like eighteen or nineteen. Look, we know that much. I don't we think that's that a spo much. that's not a spoiler. Come on. No, no, no. come on. Y'all know that. Y'all know what happened. You just don't know how it happens yet. Mm-hmm. You don't know their meat cute. Well, they had it. Sorry. <laughs> But that's the end of that episode. 
Uh, but that's not the end of the podcast. <laughs> Suckers. You thought you got out of this one scot-free, but you didn't. Spanish correspondent Arturo wrote to us. He wrote to us and he sent us voicemail. Woo, buddy. So in this he writes, hello guys, I have a few new bits for you. Yeah, treat us like Twitch streamers. Give us those bits. <laughs> The Gold and Silver Brothers from Journey to the West appear in both Dragon Ball and Naruto. I know it was easy to miss since they don't go by those names in Dragon Ball. They're the guys with the gourd that traps you when they say your name. Oh, okay. Oh. I remember that, even though I wasn't here for it. That was a guest episode. Yeah, it was a guest episode. I remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tian Shinhan. The English dub calls him a Tien for short, while the Spanish version calls him Ten. So Ten. in Spanish, his nickname is Ten because you know he is. So, it, oh, T E N, T E N, yeah, Ten. But they don't call him Diez. Diez, no. Wait, uh, let me Diez? read this line again. Because Diez is Ten. Claire Arturo, can you clarify this? Did they call him Ten or did they call him Diez? Z. Probably not Diez because that's not his name. Diez would not make sense. Yeah, <clears throat> but he is a Ten. Look, ladies, fellas. Oh, he that boy a ten. A ten. <laughs> that boy a ten. Have we have we explained enough how hot Tien is? <laughs> Dude's a snack, and I'm hungry. Well, we can eat soon. In our premium episode, premium. it's just us eating right after the podcast, like little oolongs, <laughs> like little piggies. <clears throat> All right, the email still goes. One voice actor does the voices of Master Shen, Kami, Piccolo, and Mr. Popo. He also voices Daniel Craig as 007, Alan Rickman in all Harry Potter movies, some Will Smith roles, Danny Glover in Lethal Weapon, and so many others. His voice has a lot of range, clearly. Jeez. I want to get him a shirt that says, I'm Daniel Craig and Alan Rickman and Will Smith and Mr. Popo. Deal with it. Yeah, that's, that would be a cool shirt. Yeah, make it, someone. <laughs> And then finally, his final note. In the Spanish dub, when Kami is telling Goku about Piccolo Jr., he says that King Piccolo spat out an egg after exploding, which is an error because he spills it out before exploding. All right. We uh, I, we, we don't use the nerd alert alarm, if ever. Yeah, like I have to, I'm there's, awfully, a whole, I'm off, I'm, there's a case I have to lift up, and it's really dusty. Yeah, but I'm, I'm awfully close to it. I won't. But watch yourself, counselor. Yeah, one more of those. I'll have to hit this button. Then you'll get the sound of the nerd alert. And nobody <laughs> wants that. And then we got a... We, Art, look, Arturo, you send us so much. Oh, I, so we'll, we'll keep your email and voicemail for later. Save that one for, for later? Yeah, because I think we got to get to our boy Jeff. Jeff, subject line is, I bought a PS... I, I bought a PlayStation 4. I bought a PlayStation 4 so I could watch Blu-rays. I want to watch Blu-rays so I can watch the My Hero 2 Heroes I pre-ordered. Uh, I need to watch 2 Heroes so I could listen to the to pre-game 006. I finished it 30 seconds ago. It was great. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, Aaron. If I could just say, easier ways to watch Blu-rays, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect it. Yeah, Jeff also at says at the, at the bottom of this, he says, wait. And the, oh, oh, there's a lot of spaces. There's a lot of spaces, so I almost oh, didn't catch it. Oh, he the space bar a lot. Yeah. He says, wait. WTF? Do I have to watch Boruto now? Uh, that's the only you time. Don't, I don't know what that's in reference to. I don't know what don't. that's in reference to. But you certainly don't. Yeah, you certainly don't. That's not what we do here. We watch Dragon yeah. Ball. Yeah, you crazies. Yeah, you crazies. What are you, stuck in Konohagure? No way. <laughs> I mean, speaking of that, that second email. That second email. Real quick. <laughs> Yeah, this is all you, my man. This is all me. Okay, I just got my... This is more Jeff. He says, okay, I just got my hands on a copy of Naruto Volume 1. You guys got to wait until I catch up. Can you do episode two, like, after a year... After a year or two? (laughs) Okay, thanks. He included an image. Oh, God. Jeff, thank you. Whatever Uh, this is about, thank you. Yeah, I think... That seems like a reasonable request. Yeah, in a year or two, could that we whatever do you're talking like about that? might be an annual thing. Naruto is that what the kids run like? The Naruto <laughs> run where you throw your yeah. hands back. 
Is that when kids get beat up for running like idiots? I mean, it definitely wouldn't sound like anything like, Kagebushi no Jitsu! Vince, let me ask you something. Huh? You do a Naruto run in public? <laughs> Aaron, what are, you, what are you talking? That's the only way I run to work. <laughs> that's how you're not late. That's how, that's how I make sure I'm not late. Yeah. I'm flipping around the big city, my arms behind my back, <laughs> my backpack on. Yeah. And You're I'm calling everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm jumping from train to train, calling people uh, idiots in Japanese. I'm like, "Bakayaro, Koreyaro." Yeah, the <laughs> New York Post is a big article about you. <laughs> yes, because apparently I sparked some kind of I don't know uh, movement, but it's not my ninja way to look behind me, so I never saw the people <laughs> fall. <laughs> so. Thank you, Arturo. Thank you, Jeff, for those delightful emails. Yes, those are fantastic. If you want us to ignore your email for three weeks, then write to us at KameHousePartyPod at gmail.com. Go to our website, Kame House Party, uh, for links to everything. Maybe you're new and you want to subscribe. You can do it that way. Uh, you, maybe you want to look at some clips. Maybe you want to find us on social media. That's how you do all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're both on PlayStation Network. Um, it's been really yeah, nice meeting of. everybody who's reached out and friended, uh, at least myself, Aaron, I, I, I have people been reaching out to you. Not too much, but I'm, I'm less multiplaying than you are. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, it's really fun to, to have that community as well. Like you guys are awesome guys and girls out there that listen to this podcast and engage with us. We love you. Um, yeah, thank you. I'm not jealous or anything. Okay. <laughs> I said I'm not. Okay. So. Okay. There we are. Yeah, there we are. And um, no matter if you're jealous or not, if you not. if you <laughs> if you just bought a PlayStation Four or you're waiting for the PlayStation Five, you gotta keep five.